Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. Fernando Verdasco says he is furious after he was wrongly kicked out of Roland Garros, and now he's striking back. Upon his arrival in Paris, Verdasco tested positive for COVID-19, but says it was a faulty test and demanded he take another one. French Open officials said no and took him out of the lineup. Fernando says to prove his point, he went to two different testing centers and took two different tests, both of which came back negative for coronavirus. Here is what's interesting. Verdasco says he had coronavirus back in August with absolutely no symptoms. He says he self-quarantined. He believes the false positive test he had in Paris could have been triggered by antibodies. Roland Garros didn't care about any of that. Government protocols meant that he was out of the tournament. No further discussion. In an interview with Spanish publication Marca, Fernando says he is outraged at Roland Garros, the ITF, and everybody who had anything to do with his case and says he will file a written request demanding compensation for what he calls a serious injustice. Worth noting here, in addition to losing prize money, Verdasco's shot at history is shattered. His streak of 16 straight Roland Garros appearances is now over. He was trailing Feliciano Lopez, Fabrice Santoro, and Francois Joffre with 20 appearances in Paris. Fernando says it is not just money, it is about justice and that his chance of extending his record is now crushed and it has caused him to lose points and rankings. And he says what's worse is the day after they pulled him out of the draw, they changed the rules and allowed players a second test. Now Roland Garros says if a player can provide accurate documentation from health experts that they were indeed negative, then they would not be withdrawn. Verdasco says that is the final straw. So what happens if the tournament doesn't issue some sort of compensation? Fernando says he's going to have a conversation with his lawyers. What a mess. What do you think about all this? Should Verdasco be compensated or just take his licks? One thing is for sure, and that is that nothing is for sure in this time of COVID. Sound off in the comment section, and we'll see you next time.